Today we've got an update on Skywater Technologies, S-K-Y-T. This is something, we, it's a company we, uh, we last covered October 7th of 2024 and picked this today because it was at a price then of $8.45 and that's right about where we're at today. So in that time, I loaded up uh, with about 500 shares of Skywater Technology, watched it blossom all the way up to the $16 to $19 a share range in December, January, only to watch it all come back with the market as the uh, investor sentiment overall uh, dwindled on us. But this company doesn't deserve that. And now that it's back here again, after really a pretty good year in 2024, they all had their challenges in 2024 from a technology perspective and have all had met the sell-off uh, train uh, recently. But this is a great opportunity to take another look at Skywater Technologies. And if you like it, start acquiring and building up your stake. Because I believe this company is going to be a comer for years, for years into the future. And it's something that I want to be a part of in a big way. So what do they do? So technology as a service uh, is kind of the, the model for Skywater Technologies. They develop and manufacture, help design, work with, with companies. And, and and produce the, the products for them. This is a great space. And this is a space that this small cap company is carving out quite a niche. This was a spin out from years ago from Cypress Semiconductors and uh, is, is its standalone foundry right now. And again, helping to design and manufacture, working with a broad uh, customer base. So they're working not only with, as are seen as, as part of a trusted supplier to the U.S. Department of Defense, but they are working in the aerospace industry, automotive, uh, defense industry, biomedical. Remember uh, Quantum SI and their protein synthesizer? Well, Skywater is working with them to, to make the chips it, for, for that. Quantum computing, working closely with, with D-Wave on this. Very interesting. D-Wave is getting some real positive press as of, as of late. Uh, photonics and then advanced packaging. So Skywater Technology is a very small cap company, but they're touching a lot and they're setting themselves up for a, a pretty big future, in my opinion. So what are some of the events that, that we've seen this year? Well, the D-Wave collaboration, D-Wave is starting to make some big splashes as, as a real comer in quantum. And then of course, uh, on February 26th, they announced a deal with Infineon uh, so remember, Infineon is the company that bought out Cypress Semiconductor years ago. Uh, but with Infineon to purchase their Austin Fab, Fab Plant 2025, this is going to be a big deal and a game changer for Skywater Technologies as this is going to uh, add significant incremental revenue for them. They're going to go from the $300, $300 million range to the $600 million range. So growth, growth, growth. These are the stories that you want to be a part of. Lots of customers uh, come with that as, as well. And it's, it's going to hit them on the top line and on the bottom line for overall improvement. And this company will then be operating not only in Minnesota and in Florida, but it will have a sizable Texas presence as well, which is where a lot of players want to be. Well, let's just take a look at the fundamentals real quickly and make sure that's in, in alignment with some of these great stories that are, that are coming out about that they had good earnings, that they that they, they had good revenue, record revenues, and they, they D-Wave is, is, is making making a splash and they've been working with them for a decade, helping them design and, and roll out their, their chips and manufacturing. And now this acquisition of the sizable uh, semiconductor plant means things are happening for Skywater Technology. Market cap of Skywater Technologies, about $400 million, small cap. This is great for exponential growth. A uh, share price in the past 52 weeks between $5.60 and all the way up to $19 a share. And it, in the $8.45 range right now, we're at the low end of, of that trading range. Again, great, great place to jump in uh, with all these good, very good headlines that are coming out. Um, year to date performance down almost 40%. It's been sold off with, with all of the others. Over one year, down 16%. Five year, down 40%. So this is ripe for a turnaround and rebound. Skywater's uh, revenue, again, it, they had a really good um, 2024 at $342 million in revenue. That was up 19%. The fourth quarter came in a little bit light at 75 million or down 5%. However, everyone is feeling the challenges 
in this in this space. And with a, an extra 300 million in revenue expected due to the closure of the Fab 25 acquisition, this is setting up Skywater Technologies to grow exponentially in 2025. So with analyst price targeting this at between 10 and $15 a share, with a $12 average, that's roughly a 50% upside from these prices. And you know how this works. If they start to gain some momentum, if some more good news stories comes out, this can have this can really start to fly as this company, again, is a pure play, US-based, um, small cap, semiconductor, developer, designer, manufacturer, and, and pure play foundry. So lots of good things are gonna, are gonna come to the way of Skywater. It's something I'm looking to get in on even more and purchased another small allotment earlier today and will continue to add to my position. And something for you to take a look at is what I would recommend. And let, then let me know what you're doing down below. Um, I have a lot of excitement about this. This is at a, it's at a great, great time. It's a good space. And this is a company that is getting ready to really grow. Let me know what you're doing. We'll talk again soon.